All right, so this time we're doing problem 48 from chapter six, and the problem says, an ingenious bricklayer builds a device for shooting bricks up to the top of the wall where he is working. He places a brick on a vertically compressed spring with a force constant of K is equal to 450 newtons per meter and negligible mass. When the spring is released, the brick is propelled upwards if the brick has a mass of 180 kilograms and is to reach a maximum height of 3.6 meters above the initial position on the compressed spring, what distance must the brick layer compress the spring initially? So, this is a few things. So we know that K, the spring constant, is going to be equal to 450 newtons per meter. We know that the mass of the brick is equal to 1.80 kilograms. And we know the height that the brick must go is 3.6 meters. So when we think about it, we know that the work that the spring does on the brick is going to, be have, is going to have to be equal to the work that gravity would do on the brick at that height. So the work of gravity. So we can then rewrite that. We know that the work of a spring is gonna be one half the spring constant times x squared, the distance that the spring is compressed. And the work of gravity is gonna be equal to the mass times gravity times the height. So then we're just solving for x. So we know that x is going to be equal to the square root of 2 times the mass times gravity times the height divided by the spring constant. And that's just rewriting that equation so that when we plug the numbers in, we get the distance that the spring is compressed. And we then plug in the, the numbers. So it's going to be 2 times our mass is 1.8 kilograms times gravity, which we know is 9.81, times the height, 3.6 meters, all of that divided by 450, and then the square root of the whole thing. So when we do the math, you go through a calculator and you find the math, you come to find that the spring needs to be compressed 0 0.53 meters or 53 centimeters in order to get that brick up to the height of 3.6.